Welcome back, family. Hey, I have to apologize for missing last week's final order cutoff. I worked a, a extremely long day on Friday. I knew I had an extremely long day on Saturday. I came home. I crashed. Uh, usually what I do is I record on Friday night to schedule it for Saturday. Uh, didn't or, didn't even do any of that, and I forgot till the last possible second to even order my own books. <laughs> so it's like 11 o'clock on Sunday. It's about to go to sleep, and I went... Final cutoff, and I ordered some books. I'm like, oh, I forgot to make the video. It was just total scatterbrain. So I'm recording this. I'm actually right now. This is Wednesday. I'm recording this. I'm still gonna schedule it for Saturday, and I'm making sure that I get it done for you guys. We got. And by the way, last week you didn't miss much. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna jump right into Boom Studios. Again, for people that don't know uh, or new, what I try to do is point out any new series and number one whether it's an ongoing series a one shot or a new you know a limited series just so you know that something is coming out for final order cutoff uh, also i try to point out the number twos so this way if you did pick up a number one just out of curiosity and you liked it it's your reminder to you know hey if you like that and you want to continue it this is your chance to final order to order number two of that series and any cool, really super art or cool art or notable stuff, I try to point that out as well. I'm not saying yes or no to buy it, just trying to give you guys all the information I can. So moving to Boom Studios, here we go. So we've got Slow Burn number two. Slow Burn number one actually I heard from several people that they liked it and it's a five part series. This is the cover A, there are a couple of other uh, a couple of different covers but if you really want the, to make sure you subscribe to it just for the five issues or if you just want to pick up number two final order cutoff is it's, uh, november 3rd <laughs> or 6th or whatever day it is these uh, anymore um let's see it will be the sixth which for most places actually they want it in by the fifth uh <clears throat> So that's that book. Let's move on to the next boom. We've got uh, Something is Killing Children, number 35. Cover H and there's a, I think it's cover I, both say reveal variant. I don't know if they're have a new character or something is going on with the cover. It doesn't look like it from what I can see. But usually when you see a reveal, it means that something specific is happening. First appearance of a character, somebody dies, whatever, you know, Miss Marvel dies, comes back, dies, comes back. We, so they're doing something with number 35. If uh, you're in on the series and you like it or you just want to pick it up, don't forget to scroll down to check your cover H, cover I's, because if that's something that you want, you don't want to miss it. Next, we've got uh, Stuff of Nightmares, Sleigh Ride. Yes, here we go. Halloween was yesterday, so immediately we have to get into the Christmas books. Uh, several different covers of this. I don't know if this is a one shot. Probably is. Um, there is a Frizen uh, cover, which is nice. But you know, the, this book is seven ninety nine. Uh, but I saw this Frizen. The Frizen regular is seven ninety nine. But they have a glow in the dark version. There's a, two different glow in the darks. But the Frizen glow in the dark with Santa in the window, that looks really really cool. Uh, but it is ten bucks. You know, but for a glow in the dark book, you know. It might be worth it. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, now we're jumping into DC. I got the DCs already primed up, and then I'm going to have to pause to get to the next ones. Uh, Alan Scott, The Green Lantern, number two of six. So you picked up number one, and you liked it. It's your chance to get number two. This is the cover A. There are different ones. Amazon's Attack, number two, cover A. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with number one, so... I'm not going for number two. I know, by the way, the Green Lantern. I know Greg's getting that one. And next we have Barkham Asylum. Yeah, so apparently the Unleashed, uh, they need a, uh, a, a, a version of that in the DC. So, you know, pets and animals are, are another way of selling months, you know, making money for these guys. Go right ahead. There's no number. It's a trade paperback. It's uh, $9.99, but if you love the... Uh, <laughs> animal inspired versions uh, of uh, comics don't forget to put that one on your um, pull list so we've got the jo joker's dog yeah okay 
Uh, Batman 89 Echoes, number one of six. So it says right in the description, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Uh, so uh, it's a six-part series from the Batman 89 inspired stuff. Of course, I, as you can see, I have it or, uh, the cover A ordered because I just think it's, it looks interesting. For $3.99, I want to pick it up. We have the Batman City of Madness, number two of three, Christian Ward. This is in the prestige format. Don't forget that. It's uh, $6.99. Um, so remember, it's not going to fit in your short boxes. It's not going to, it's going to be separate for grading. It's, it's, uh, it better be worth it, man. Next up, Batman Santa Claus Silent Night, number one of four. Yes, uh, we've got Superman with a kid on his, uh, 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 on his lap, I guess he's acting like Superman, you know, finding out what he wants for her. No, it looks like he's reading a old Batman book. I'm not sure, but you got Wonder Woman and Batman in the background. Um, I believe I saw a different variant of that. Yes, this is the one that I've actually ordered. <laughs> I, I don't want to see Superman with a kid on, you know, reading a story. I want to see Santa with Zatanna. <laughs> now you've got my attention. Come on. This is a cover B. <laughs> Uh, yes, like I said, I had this one ordered. Maybe you should too. Uh, tw DC's Twas the Might Before Christmas. This is Batmite, I guess. I don't know. It's a cover A. It's another $10 book. Yep, there's Batmite right there. I didn't even see him before. So, yeah, I'm not getting that. But if it's uh, another Christmas book that you want to add to your collection, by all means, go for it. <laughs> Superman 78, the metal curtain, number two of six. If you liked number one, this is your opportunity to order number two. Titans Beast World, cover A. This is one of six. Now, I've seen some articles, and I've heard some people talking, you know, like, hey, I can't wait for the Beast Wars to come out. It's supposed to be some kind of a, not, not a reboot, but like a reset of a lot of things that are going on in the DC Universe. Um, as a result, I'm expecting a lot of people to be... Um, purchasing this book a lot of prints to be made uh i would recommend if you want to read buy this to read yes buy it for investability no uh there's several copies of titan's beast world cover uh number one then you also have titan's beast world tour metropolis number one cover a you have titan's beast world waller rising number one cover a since they're all cover a's you gotta realize that these are three completely different uh, books. I think it's kind of like the Night Terrors type of thing. So don't pick up the first one. Just the Titans Beast Wars, period. Cover A. Expecting to get everything. There are two other books that you're going to need to order if you would like to know what they are. So with that, we are moving down to Marvel, which means I am going to be pausing this for a second and getting those tabs filled back up. Okay, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> All right, so yes, we have Captain Marvel number one, second printing, the John Tyler Christopher um, version variant. Uh, Four ninety-nine. It's actually it's a cool looking cover. It's got the uh, negative space with uh, the stars and everything going through her midsection costume, and I, that's actually a really nice way of doing that. It's not a a, uh, a negative space, but it is. Um, not an over big fan of Captain Marvel as far as a car uh, character, and nothing to do with. The movies and whatnot i just never was um but that cover is really really cool calf wolf howling commandos number one second printing i'll be honest i didn't even know they had the first printing and that's this is not something that uh appeals to me um but uh it's transformed into a werewolf on the front lines of world war ii so seems like a very, pretty interesting story it was right out in time for halloween but the werewolf World War II, Captain America, really? Eh. But anyway, there's a second printing for you guys if you want it. The Daredevil Gang War. Yes, we got the uh, Luke Cages before, so now we're going to start getting some of the other series for this gang war. The street level heroes having uh, the nice fight going on. And uh, this one has Electra in it as well. There are several covers on this as well. So uh, hang, hold on to your hats. Let's see how this event shapes up. The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu Gang War <laughs> as well, with Spider-Man there on the cover with Shang-Chi. Uh, da, 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 da. Luke Cage Gang War number two. If you read number one, there's number two. 
And also, as far as a cool looking cover, um, Peach Momoko, to me, it's like hit or miss, but she really filled up the entire page here. And with her watercolors, this I'm sure was not that easy for her to do. But um, she's got a, a version, uh, a variant of the uh, Luke Cage Gang War number two. And it's, it's pretty interesting for her. Uh, Punisher number two. If you liked the new Punisher series slash the new Punisher, here comes number two for you. Uh, Spider-Boy number one, second printing, John Teller, Christopher variant. You got the negative space here. Looks like it's pretty standard negative space, but everything is, you know, everything is very hot for Spider-Boy. So if you want to add your, that one to your pull list, there it is. The Superior Spider-Man Returns number one, one shot, second printing, Bagley variant. Got to make sure I take a breath before that one. I mean, it's second printing, but it's a number one. Just uh, you know. Moon Knight. Sorry, it's the Vengeance of the Moon Knight. Now, the regular Moon Knight has a uh, number 30 out, and there's a lot of different covers of that. Um, I don't follow the Moon Knight series. Maybe something important is going on, but we have a Moon Knight, Vengeance of the Moon Knight. Yeah, Vengeance of the Moon Knight, number one. Don't know if it's an ongoing series, if it's a limited series, if it's a one shot. Doesn't say. So. Um, if you're a Moon Knight fan and you want to get in on the ground level of a new book that's coming out, there you go. White Widow, number two. I actually liked number one. So, um, White Widow, number two, in case uh, you felt the same way that I do. And uh, The Wolverine by Claremont Miller, number one facsimile edition. I, there's a foil and there's a regular. The foil is Please Inquire, which means it's probably going to be 10, 12 bucks. <laughs> And the uh, regular one, I believe, is I'm thinking six ninety nine, five ninety nine, somewhere in there. Um, I, I'm I'm ordering one of the foils for myself. So let's see. That was Marvel. Now we gotta hit Dynamite. Wow, that's a lot of tabs. Okay, and they're not all for Dynamite. <laughs> I only found a couple for Dynamite. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me just head into the generic comics category and. Whoa, I forgot this is coming out around Christmas and they really want your money. All right, so Dynamite has a couple books. You've got Jennifer, Blood Battle Diary, number one. That's the cover A. My mouse go. There we go. And uh, Savage Red Sonia, number two. So if you like number one, you want number two, there you are. Uh, we're going to jump into this generic comics now, which includes the image, which is kind of insulting because I would think we'd want to have a, its own folder for image and put Dynamite down here. But I don't run the show. American Mythology Productions has 21st Century Santa Stories, number one, cover A. Now, it's interesting that they would have a number one coming out of Christmas. Do they really think people are going to be buying Santa Claus stories in January and February? Well, I mean, if the story's good, they will, but I don't know. Uh, Almost Dead, number two. If you liked number one, there you are. A new one from Dark Horse called Assassin's Apprentice 2. Cover A. It looks like uh, it is a number one, so um, don't know how good the story is. If you like, the, especially if you like the first series, I guess there you are. Uh, another one from Distillery Media in the prestige format. Don't forget nine dollars. You have Blasphemous number one. Uh, Bitmap number two of six from Titan Comics. So if you liked one, there's two. Image Comics has uh, number two, co Blood Commandment. That's the cover A there. Scout Comics, new one from them called Blood Run. That's the cover A. Don't know if I like the artistry on that, but. <laughs> blood Rick, number one. A lot of blood. Uh, from Image Comics. Crave, number one of six from Image Comics is going to be coming out. Cthulhu Death May Die number two, cover A from Source Point Press. If you like number one, the fourth board series, if I want to continue. Uh, Edenwood number two from Image Comics. See, Image has a lot of books. I don't understand why they, have, they don't have their own category anymore. They used to. Godzilla Rivals Jet Jaguar versus Meg Megalon. One shot, number one. The Gone, number two from Distillery. Um, 
I think I actually, yeah, I did get two different covers of God, uh, God Number One. Uh, I didn't read it, but some people have told me that it is a good story and I need to go do it. It's, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to order number two yet. Hellboy, Winter Special, Yule Cat, num one shot number one. That's the cover A. All you Hellboy fans. Uh, from Sourceport Press, number one of four, Homestead. Uh, the Mall. <laughs> the Mall, number one, Scout Legacy Edition. So they reprint some of their original comic book lines. And if you happen to read the Mall when it first came out, they're reprinting it for you. Masterpiece number one, Dark Horse Comics. This one looks like it could be interesting. It is by uh, Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Alex Believe. So um, Bendis usually puts out some really good stories. Uh, I believe I have this one on my order. Yes, I did order it. See? Uh, from Scout Comics, The Maze Agency. Uh, sorry, this one, not not of interest to me. If you know of something that's a uh, reason that I should buy it though, please put it in the comments. I would not, I would like to know. Mom Breaks the Internet, number two from Scout Comics. And uh, last thing uh, for the first half of the alphabet is uh, for all you, you know, yes, I'm not recommending that uh, people my age are buying My Little Pony. However, you may have kids or grandkids and this is the best of Fluttershy, number one. So, Remember, this is going to be coming out right around Christmas time. You're going to need those last-minute Christmas presents. Boom. This You might want to order a copy or two in case you have uh, nieces or granddaughters or whichever. Or daughters. All right. Let's hit the second half of the alphabet. <laughs> Who dug it? There's a lot of books this week. Remember I said last week was not impressive? I think they saved them all for this week. Uh, so, Night of the Living Dead, uh, number four. Uh, number four. Now, I didn't say this is number four, but I did say that I will talk about books, covers that I think are cool. And uh, this is Night of the Living Dead Kin, sorry, number four. This is a cover C, and it's got the uh, the photo variant, which is a photo from, you know, from the original movie. I don't think I've ever I've seen that, um, the original movie uh, as a photo cover on any comic book before. And... Considering how iconic it is, that's actually kind of cool. It'd be really interesting if either one of these actors is still alive, which they should be, uh, if they do any signings. Ooh, that'd be a great book. Uh, Image Comics, number 104, Our Bones Dust. From Massive Comics, we have Azuna Bori, 787, number 1 of 5, five-part series. Uh, Image Comics, if you read Petrol Head number one and liked it, here's your chance for number two. And it's just time for... It's a Christmas book. Yay! Uh, Pocus Hocus number two from Source Point Press is out if you like number one. Red Light from AWA, number two of four if you liked number one. We have a new uh, book here for Rick and Morty Meeseeks. P.I., Private Investigator. It's a couple different covers of this as well, but if you like your uh, Rick and Morty books and you want another storyline, Oni Press Incorporated is happy to oblige. Riot Force, number one of four. Now, I swear, when I, some of these books is from Sourcebook Press. I look at the, the covers on these things, they're like, they just scream mid-90s, overprinted, books coming out every week, uh, that everybody, you know, like, it just, the artwork just reminds me of those ones that they were just trying to pump out, pump out, just to make more money. Something is Killing the Children, Inc. Number one, second printing, cover A, cover B, and cover C. All of them say, image coming soon. So, sometimes you, it's cool, sometimes it's not. <laughs> just letting you know we have a second printing of that book out, though. Space Usagi, Death and Honor, number two, the cover A on that dark horse. Spellweaver, number one, from Keen Spot Entertainment. The Star Wars High Republic Adventures Phase 3, cover A. <laughs> uh, I got one copy ordered, why not? Uh, Dark Horse has Hyperspace Stories, number 12 of 12. This is the cover B, and it says, cover to be revealed. So, is this some kind of big spoiler? I don't know. 
Uh, but I have one co one copy ordered because I just want to make sure in case they don't get into my LCS, I, I want to have one. Um, sometimes it you know it could be a really cool cover, maybe not. But hopefully they're not doing a bait and switch like they do in so many other books. Like, oh, it's a hidden cover. Yes, it's Death of Miss Marvel. Oh, guess what? She's back. Don't don't play games. Dark Horse usually doesn't. So Star Wars usually doesn't. But we'll see. I got one order for me. Stranger Things Voyage number two. In case you like, like number one. From a Blaze Publishing, we have a new one called The Agent. From Source Point Press, there was another life. Number one of a three-part series that is coming out. 200 years after the end of the world, all he has left is himself. Uh, from Dark Horse, we have Time Traveler Tales, number one. And lastly, we have Wrong Earth, We Could Be Heroes, number two of two. So if you like number one, you want to get the second book, this is it. And that wraps up this week's Final Order Cutoff. Yes, because I don't get into the regular books and the toys and the collectibles and the games. And, ooh, Pokemon game. No, definitely don't get into it. <laughs> All right, so let me get back to full screen here. If I can get my mouse to... There! Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you found this information educational, helpful, uh, insightful, any, any, any kind of full. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I just try to bring this to you guys. So I figure while I'm ordering, I might as well point out everything to you guys so you can get onto your pull lists and work out something with your LCS or even just start to pre order in advance for through your online. Uh, these are the books that they're going to be coming out. This way, we all have something in common. We're all reading the same kind of books. We all have some fun. It's comics. Why not? Guys, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Timo Hunter Family. On Patreon, join, be one of our coconuts uh, for only $3 a month, and you get more than $3 a month back. Uh, that's at Timo Ohana, which is you can find at Patreon. Who'd have thought? Uh, we have a podcast, which you can find by going to Team Ohana on any one of the streaming services you can find. That's where we do our back issue book club. Uh, we have our Etsy shop where you can find uh, t-shirts and hats and we're working on getting another location. Looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Um, make it easier for you guys to find and get a shirt or a hat or just something to show you your love for the community. We run into each other at shows. We're kind of cool. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to get this ready here. Until I see you in the next video, mahalo. <laughs>